Yo guys, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink, and we are here to solve your timing and rhythm problems. Therefore, I've created a course some time ago, which I did with some students, and the course takes um, around six months. Um, it's available in, in my Guitar Academy, in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy, for download. But here I'm going to show you um, how the whole course works, how you can work out your um, timing and your rhythm abilities with rhythm studies but also start already transport it on the fretboard okay and the first lessons are for everybody even for intermediate players and the last ones probably not but <coughs> however i'm just going to show you how you can start working on your timing and on your rhythm abilities by knowing rhythm, knowing how it is written, by <coughs> playing rhythm, by really working out the different modules of rhythm like quarter notes, half notes, quarter note um, pauses, eight notes, 16 notes, triplets and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you a little bit through how the whole thing works and then you can start working on it. On it. But I must warn you, it takes at least six months to get through all the modules and till your rhythm and your timing gets really better it takes probably longer but i just want to show you the method here that um, somehow to engage you how the whole thing works and if you're willing to go through the whole course it's available in the hp crazy guitar academy then you know how you can work uh, on your own with the whole thing so what is it about it's about um, knowing what you're playing and understanding and hearing what is read, written as rhythm. And the first step you need to do is to, <coughs> to learn the different timing signatures and play them with a click or a backing track. Meaning, here we have a click, now we play full notes. That means w one note is four beats so two three four one two three four whack looks easy but if you never done that before probably you were not precise because a note has a beginning point and an end point so it starts exactly on a one in this case and stops exactly by the end of the four or if it starts somewhere else it's something else okay and um you can work it out just with one note, and if you're an experienced player, you can also work it out with a chord. Play a full note with a chord. One, two, three, four. Looks so simple, but there's a lot of things to do. While you do this, you need to play the chord as nice as possible, that it all strings sound nicely, and you stop it exactly where it should stop. That is what I'm talking about here, and here we're going to start to develop all the abilities on the different timing signatures to really get into this type of um, precision on rhythm and on timing. So let's get started. Um, I, I'm just showing you, I wrote that six different axes, or six, you know, six different axes. We just go through them, and I'm going to show you how you can work with them. Therefore, I need my glasses because I'm going to do sight reading here. That's why I have this thing here. We're starting with the first exercise. As you can see, we have quarter notes and dotted um, half notes, which means when they're dotted, they're last three beats. So exercise number one, or the first exercise here, if you would play it with one note, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop. That seems to be easy, but was it precise? Check it out yourself. Now you can do the same thing if you're more experienced. Play, you can do the same thing with the chord progression. I'm doing this as sight reading, so if I make mistakes, be a little bit. Uh, let's say uh, <laughs> forgiving with me okay so I'm gonna do it with a little chord progression 
Looked easy, but you know when you do with do it on a level which uh, matches your playing abilities and be as precise and as musically as possible. Don't just play the the exercises just like this. Play them as nice sounding as if you record a CD. Okay, or you can do the same thing doing a solo. Let's take the G minor pentatonics. You can make a random solo by playing this rhythm which you're seeing here. Was all the same rhythm, different types, how you can work it out. Alright, the next one will be uh, dotted quarter notes with eight notes. And if, you if you're a blues or a jazz guy, you also have to do the exercise ternary. So in shuffle groove you do both, the, the binary and the ternary. So let's do this now. binary not tenary two three four or you could also do a solo but I just want to show how the whole thing works now another example dotted quarter notes and eight notes in a row there you can really work it out, the ternary and the binary. So let's do this here. Now ternary, two, three, four. doing 16 notes here we only do uh, the the binary um, let's start it I'll show you hopefully I get through it side three one two three four <laughs> Now we do triplets. Yo, and if you went through all the different figures, and I just showed a few of them, there are many of them, but um, then you get to the end point where you should be able, and I hope I get through this here now, <coughs> to do a line like this with sight reading because you learned how the different modules sound and then you just make combination while you read it if you can read it and play it then for sure you're really good in rhythm and rhythm studies and I can admit at that point um, I was not really a fan of rhythm studies but it let's see if I get through this one here that this one is really tough because it mixes triplets and uh, 60 notes. Let me see if it works out. <laughs> really tough. 
Yo, but that's how the whole thing works. <coughs> and you can take any kind of sheet music at home, work it through, start simple, make it become more complicated. And for sure you need somebody who monitors if you're doing it right. I made two mistakes on the last one. Well, one, um, I didn't do that for a while. And it doesn't mean you have to become perfect on this, but it means that you understand rhythm and you can reproduce rhythm and you can write rhythm because you understand, you know. And that's what this whole thing is all about. As I said, it's a build-up course over six months where you go through all the different elements and then you do combinations more combinations and it starts really simple at the end it gets really hard and if you cannot do the basic modules you will fail when it gets really hard yo one more to say as i said there's a full course in the hp crazy guitar community check it out there you can download it start working on it or you can do any kind of take songs take passages of songs where you have simple uh, rhythms, more complicated rhythms, try to make them as precise as possible, work it out as showed, either just with one note, with soling, the more simple ones with chords, and then just start to, to live and um, vibrate in rhythm, and then you're pretty much near to getting more and more secure and precise in rhythm and rhythm studies. Yo, me and Dr. Pink are saying goodbye for today.